All right, we survived another work week. It's the weekend. So now it's time for us to go out and have some fun. All right, so this week we're going apple picking. We're going up to New Hampshire to Applecrest, which is up in Hampton Falls. And it's one of the places we've been going for a long time. Years, at least we're, like... we're not going to say how many years. <laughs> we're just going to say a long time. We had, we've been taking the kids there to do their original pumpkin picking, I believe. Right. Uh, we do apple picking there. It's a good 45 minutes from uh, Boston. But, you know, it's a nice drive. So come with us and enjoy. And we'll show you around. And if you guys like what you see, go up there and check them out. made it down so now it's time to get our apple picking on. Our apple picking on? It's time to get our apple picking on. Time to get our apple picking on. So let's go get ourselves a pack. Morning. Sure. Ah. Really tempted, really tempted to go get some raspberries. Because there are some good Eaton's raspberries right here. Yeah, really good looking. Look at this one right here. Now that is a nice raspberry. That is a nice one. No way, I'm not gonna know. Oh, and there's a bee. So here's a good thing to know. If you're allergic to bees and you come apple picking or to any farm really like this time of year, they're especially aggressive. And so on people that try to push illegal raspberries on you. There's no evidence. No evidence. I'm just gonna do it. Do things the right way. Don't be like him. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Oh my goodness. I'm really regretting buying that. It's like. Sad says pick your own blueberries, but we're not here for blueberries today. We're here for apples. For apples. He wants to speak with you, Malachi. He who lives behind the rose. And then he's coming for you, Donna. It's weird because all the trees are absolutely filled with apples, but you keep walking. It's like, okay, I want to look for the bigger right. apple. I want to look for this, you know, this tree right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at all these. Uh, what about this one? No, nah, I think I'm going to go down here and, you know, find, there'll be a better one. They're, they're all good. After they you're not going to know the difference. You, they're going in my little hand pies. They're all going in your stomach. And salad, they're all good. And hopefully caramel apples. Yum. I can't do caramel apples anymore. Well, I mean, you can do the caramel apples. I'm not doing it. It's tradition. See, I, I want to make sure that I, I pick the right apples. Like, is, is this one? Should I take this one? But this one looks really good. And I, I you know, should I? The thing is, once I make up my mind, I, I can't let it. So I'm going to try and, yeah, I, I'm going to take this one. And it's not coming. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. What? what was that? Just twist. twist and pull. It's kind of like you know, Place. almost In like, effect. almost like what was that movie? Um, Legally Blonde. Mm -hmm. flip, flip and twist. Bend and snap. That's what bend it was. and snap. Bend and snap. Bend and snap. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. Same kind of concept. Okay, so we got a half a bag of Cortlands now. Oh, no, we didn't... Sorry, I lied. Macintosh. Cortlands have the red ribbon. Okay, so we got a half a bag of Macintosh right now. We're not even halfway down one of the rows. That and it's just nice. ridiculous at how how everything's just ridiculously ripe. It's just an amazing weekend to come apple picking. So, to make the pies, it's usually good to make half Mac, half yeah. Cool. Actually, I, I'm going to see if the shop has um, some Granny Smith because I love that tartness. Um, it's 
so I'll probably throw yeah. a little bit of Granny Smith in there too. So we'll mix some a couple of Granny Smiths in there if they got if they got them, if they got them. Mm -hmm. But right now we're gonna go over a couple of aisles that way, or a couple of rows. You can see your Liz behind the rows. It's waiting for you, Malachi. Oh. He's waiting for you. Mm -hmm. He wants to meet with you, Malachi. So we're gonna go over there. Malachi. But we're gonna go over there and get some Max go or Cortland. Cortland. So we got a half a bag of Max. Let's go get a half a bag of Cortlands. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go check out the shop. Check out the uh, gift shops and yeah, and the bistro and all of it. They have all kinds of fun stuff here at their festivals, and it's all through September and October. They have free bluegrass band playing. Um, you can make your own um, scarecrows. You can. I mean, there's just so much going on. You'll see. We'll show you. Great place to come, though. We've been coming here for like over 20 years, so we really love this place. I know. Showing off our so we're gonna edit, That's okay. We're going to edit that out, <laughs> but we got to make it through behind the rows. We're going behind the rows. Hopefully, no one named Malachi is back here. Almost full. All right, we're almost full. I mean, we only went out two rows yep. because it's been such a good season for apples this year so I think we're all done with our apple picking and I can hear the tractor coming um, so here we go king and queen of the red cart yay What it's like walking around here at night. Spooky. Repeat everything. So, Apple Crest. Sorry Crest, for the bouncing. So, Apple Crest is actually the oldest continuously running apple orchard in America. So, that's kind of interesting. And I think it's either the largest one in New Hampshire or the largest one in New England. So, all little bit of uh, fun factage there for you. Okay, now that the picking is done, now let's go check out the farm stand. Apple pickles, oh, so tasty apple tarts and apple pasty apple dumplings, not to mention apple sass. Yes, and there's apple fritters, light as the land for folks to wet their whistle, tangy apple cider. Stew them, fry them, boil them, bake them, apple pie and apple cake them. Yep, you can cook them anyway. There's apple this and apple that, the recipes that fill your hat. Why, I could carry on like this all day. I lost Donna for a second, and sure enough, waiting in line to get a side of donut. That's all she's wanted since we came up here. Best kind of donuts are warm apple cider donuts in the fall. Mm. So good. Is it? Okay, so right back here, we have a petting zoo. So let's go see if we can get Donna to pet some animals or feed some animals, maybe, because she likes to get freaked out a lot of times. It's, kind of, it's actually kind of funny. So let's see if we can get her to do it. Okay, let's go around. City girl. Let's go up and around. Bye, guys. Oh, he's breathing on my hand. All right. All right. Okay. You want to feed some? 
lot. I've done a lot. Got a whole bag. Look at them all sleeping up oh, there. He's getting upset. Why? What's wrong? Not fast enough here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Here comes, here comes them all. How's it going? Hey guys. Oh boy, that's yep, yep. Here we go. Oh, two on one. Here. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one's really got his head this off for you. Gross. Oh. Gross. Maybe if you put one in your mouth, see if he'll eat You're it. You're crazy. <laughs> Ready? Okay. We're almost, no, not almost done. Ready? Oh, that was my finger. <laughs> we talked about this. We were going to be good. Oh, now there's a little one behind him. All right, let's move down. Let's move down a little bit. All right, I just got a little bit left. It's like crumbs. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get some kind of cheap flu. All right, you ready? Go. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go wash my hand in bleach. Maybe light it on fire. The question we have is: we hear the violin, or we hear the bluegrass, but is it a violin or is it a fiddle? Is there it's a difference? Fiddle. It's fiddle? I'd say so. Is that's it, like a southern it, thing, right? I, I don't know. We're in New Hampshire. So is southern it a violin or, or is it a fiddle? True. You want to be technical. Let's, let's go with some bluegrass. I can't blame you for I know you want that your love for me was never real I could hold you but you'd be unhappy But it's alright if that's the way you feel I know that I will always go on caring But my feelings now I must conceal I still need you and I want you with me. But it's alright if that's the way you feel, Richie.